Okay, this video is going to walk you through how you can take a video that you recorded on Screencast and put it onto YouTube. Um, I have had some luck using shareable links and putting those in the agenda, which would allow a student to see your Screencastify from your Google Drive. Um, but sometimes that's not always the best way to get to things. And I found most students are really um, good at finding things on YouTube, especially if you have them start following your YouTube channel. I do not ever have luck with simply clicking this button right here. So here are some easy steps to take this video and put it into YouTube. So the first thing I do is I choose download and I'm gonna download this video directly to my computer and you'll see it pop up in the bottom of your screen so hopefully you can see that um, it's downloading right now this is usually a pretty quick download and while that's downloading I'm gonna go to YouTube so you already have a YouTube channel through your MERPS account and you just need to make sure that you're logged into your school account when you go to YouTube and you can see all the silly things that my kids have been watching so you're gonna click on this video with the plus sign and choose upload video just never know it's going to pop up on your YouTube home screen. All right, so this video is still downloading. It's got about, I don't know, 15 seconds left. And I'm going to wait until it's done downloading and then click select file. Um, everybody's internet speeds are different. You might find that that takes a long time. Maybe it doesn't. Um, it does take a really long time to upload the video to YouTube. So I just downloaded this called Making the Fourth Marking Period Pass Fail. I'm going to select the file. And you can type a description video for teachers changing the fourth marking period. All right, um, I, I usually check no, it's not made for kids. It doesn't really matter. It just turns the commenting off. Um, I don't really think it matters what you choose. And you can make it unlisted or private, which means that anyone with the link can see that, but I've also had some problems with that. If you don't mind, just make it public. And then you click publish. So you can see, um, so this video is uploading. It does take a while. Sometimes it'll give you a little time. How long is left? Um, once it's published, then you can just copy and paste the YouTube video link into your agenda, your lesson plan, or whatever. And I've found that just converting everything into my YouTube channel makes it quick for one-stop shopping if kids are going to be watching multiple videos for the week. So if you have any questions about adding screencasts, to YouTube, let me know. Um, if you record a Zoom meeting as your lesson, you can go about this in the same way. Download the video, upload it to YouTube. I will say that when you add a video or a camera, it does increase the download time quite a bit. Hope this helped.